Hello and welcome back. This is Institutoris, and I'm continuing playing Darkness Within in pursuit of Loth no Noldor. And I do realize, yes, I made a typo. Damn it! I'm I'm blaming too much, too tired state of the time I was writing it. If that makes any sense, I don't know what I was going to do with it. But yes, it should be cemetery, not cemetery. I made it twice. Oh, Woe is me. Yeah, I just kicked myself and I came back to the game and loaded and I realized what I have done. Unfortunately, it's already released the video, so my shame is public. Well, okay, that was just joking. Anyways, anyways, we are definitely continuing this game. I think it's been a few days since I last played. Where are we actually going? Oh, uh, journal. Uh, yes. Um. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, I do realize we are going to the cemetery in the laps. Uh, I have no idea. Is there any other places after that? That might be the last one. I'm not certain. I'm guessing this might be the last episode. Yeah. I'm almost certain this is a at the end part of the game uh, game and uh, I'm guessing this will be the final episode oh no 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 so I think that's it we move on and the cemetery and there you have it which is oh there's a hooter <laughs> Who? This huge and ancient cemetery is located a few miles from the town of Windlabs. Strange phenomena abound in this area where people have reported hearing muffled sounds or screaming and have seen dark and grotesque silhouettes moving. Sounds like a lovely place. And there we are heading. Okay, the sounds are again. First things first, let's save. Yes, and definitely correct my mistake. And, and, and let's take those sounds a little lower. Nope. I might, I test, I'm gonna put a little bit music there and we will see what we will see so here we are at the cemetery forward right or left west east or last probably east so that would be north. I'm thinking I would go... Um, let's... Let's try left first. Okay, so... I really don't know. Okay, I'm gonna check the, the other areas also. So... This is towards the cemetery. We might as well go through here. I'm guessing it's similar to the... Yes. But this is a similar also. I think I heard a scream. So what's the north look like? Is it similar? No. Do I want to... I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna check the other areas first. And see if I can see anything of interest. I can't go over there or there, so the forward is the... This is a huge place. I'll probably find nothing without knowing where I'm going and why. Well, that's making things much easier, I'm thinking. 
Is it the same on this side? This is a huge place, yes. Okay. I'm guessing north it is then. And do I see anything around here? This path leads to depths of Northwood Northwood Forest. I can't leave this place now. Fine. And what about this? It's locked. Again. And I can't enter over there. No, so we have to go inside. Okay, three candles. And the loud noises again. Loud noises again. Where are the options? Sound. Thank you. What? Can we see? Nothing on this side. Neither. So let's go forward. And again. Yes, I can check the shelves. Nope. Oh. Registers. WZ. I'm guessing that's WZ. T and okay. So I remember someone was buried here. It was that note. And the note in the secret room of the cabin. What was it? Poor. Samuel William Poor. Yes. I'd better check the registers beginning with letter P. I may find the location of his crypt. Okay, A to the C, P to the S. Do I need to... I can't see the surname Poe here. Was he really buried here? Yes. We do know that because... Po oh. Because... The, what was the, I can't see if there's the, the clock field was uh, recording the noises, but is there, uh, some play, people are looking for the crypt of Samuel William Poor. Okay. So we really don't have any other clues except, of course, he's buried here and other people are also looking for him. And um, we can't register, yes. So let's move a little bit forward. Numbers can't interact with those. Candles. Same thing. We can't go over there, so. So, we move forward. More stairs. Uh, blue candle. Can I open this? No. I don't see anything I can interact with it, at least for the moment. That's a huge flame if I have seen one. That is okay. Oh. Is that... There is definitely something over here. But I can't interact with it. I'm not certain if you can see it in the recording. I Hopefully you can. But you can see the black line over here. And uh, it goes right over here. It's definitely uh, some kind of compartment. I don't know if it's... Uh, can I? No. No, I can't interact with it. Interesting. I have to keep mine. 
keep that in mind because I'm almost certain that that is some hidden compartment or something like that. Mm, what else? One creepy statue without eyes. Very lovely. And uh, nothing else. This candle book, which we cannot interact. And uh, again, nothing. Well, this is odd. But the music is loud. What? That's okay. What is this? And why did? Oh, it's a reminder. Okay, and a book. How many pages? We can underline this. Three clues. Let's start uh, for reading. My name is Robert Hart. I'm the watchman of this cemetery. I'm writing these notes in order that they may be used as a proof concerning the strange inexplicable, <laughs> inexplicable happenings which began recently. Silence has ceased in this old city of the dead, which is far away from the nearest town. I began to hear chilling cries, howling and wheezing sounds coming from some oddly built crypts. Lately I can't rid myself of the feeling that I'm being watched during my midnight shifts. Wheezing. I can't breathe again. Sorry. <laughs> I tried to warn visitors coming to the cemetery. When I told them about this, they just whispered to each other and told me rudely not to get involved. To hell with them. I wouldn't even bother to stay here any longer if the pay wasn't good. If the pay wasn't if the pay wasn't good. I know people who wouldn't even stay for the money. Their appearance and behavior disgusts me. Each of them wears a ring inscribed with snake figure biting its own tail, wrapped around a shiny black stone. I've seen better looking corpses than them. Oh, I think that's the Ouroboros. Some people say that they are descended from witches' lineage, lineage, and that they perform ceremonies to bless their ancestors and demonstrate their respect to him by coming to his crypt at specific times. Are they saying the William Boris witch? Or are we talking about different thing? Okay. I'm not the kind of person who believes such things, although I don't know what to say after the things I heard in front of the, the door of that mold, moldy crypt. The registers of this and similar crypts were separated from the others and put in the secret section under the steps of the cemetery building, okay, which they last visited. Moreover, a couple of years ago I witnessed another unexplained event in one of the caves, which were created in some parts of the cemetery by, by the earthquake. It was midnight when I entered one of those caves, since it seemed easy to go inside and walk ahead. When I reached those dank concrete corridors, which were surrounded by reptile-headed human statues, I didn't dare to go any further, and instead ran to the exit as far fast as I possibly could. A few days later, some inspectors came, and after some superficial exam exca examinations, <laughs> declared that this place was built over an underground cave system. Hence, no more burials would be allowed. But since then, four more people have been secretly buried in eastern part of the cemetery. I suppose there are some structures and underneath here, and some people, or God knows who, or what they really are, insist upon being buried here. Each passing day, this place is making me more and more afraid. I don't feel safe anymore. I'm thinking of quitting. If I didn't need the money, I wouldn't hesitate to leave now. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can underline. Um, I don't think the name is important, but let's try that anyways. Nothing particularly interesting. Watchman of the Cemetery, yes, inexplicable happenings. Uh, silenced, wheezing, 
means that the senator when I told them about that just whispered people who wouldn't even stay for the money the appearance of behavior disgusts me okay um snake figure biting its own tail or uh, is this important that would be at least uh, some kind of recognizable thing let's try a black ring with snake figure I wonder if it's a cultic symbol noise Lorraine is on the wrong. On the run? I... okay. <laughs> Anyways, some people say that they're descended from witches lineage and they perform ceremonies plus their ancestors and demonstrate their respect to him by coming to his script. His script. No. I'm not the kind of person who believes such things. Of course you're not. The registers of uh, registers. Do we need that in for registers? Of this and similar groups were separated from others. Let's see if that's important. There are hidden registers. I'd better find them and check them out. Well, I'm guessing then we have to underline the secret section. It seems there is a secret compartment in this building. Under the steps. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so it was a hidden compartment we saw earlier. So we are probably allowed to open it now. Caves? Do we need? Oh, but we have the three clues al already. I don't know if there's hidden clues, so I might check caves. A few days later, examinations came for underground. Four more people. Is this important? Four more people have secretly buried. Nothing particularly interesting, of course. Each passing day displays making more. I don't need money. I want to touch. Okay. Maybe we are missing something, but I can't see anything other than we already found out. So, can we open it now? Here. This must be the secret compartment that was mentioned in the Watchman's old notes. It's stuck. I need something to open with. Open it with. Well, of course it's stuck. Let's go. Uh, can we go upstairs? Because I've been everywhere so far in here. So. Oh, we can go up. Okay, good. Well, interesting tower, to say the least. Let's go. What is that? Dacca? Okay, can I watch it? Check it. Oh, it was the right one. Um, well, it looks like a dagger. Although I thought it was a screwdriver. So, that's it. What's there? I wonder if there was a room up there. Seriously, Lorraine? Seriously? The. Of course there was a room. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let's move on. Oh, there's the stairs. So, if I'm correct, we are using the rusty dagger. And we got the books, nice. Samuel William Poor. The location of his script may be written in the old registers. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, does it really matter which where I press P clues number zero of one? Piotr Poli and Heaven Pixmus Proutry 
Apple cream. Poe R. Ah, Poe R. West side. It's not the east or the west side. No, it's not. It's the dark side. Here, William Poe R. His tomb is in the western part of the cemetery. But its location is not legible. Part with of this register is covered with a substance. Okay. So we know we have to go to the west side. Piles and Picard. Jean Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise. And I think we're done. I guess we're done here. Okay. So I'm gonna have to turn the sounds a little down at the Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. Let's do it like this and I'm gonna save because I want to fix the typo of this save. So west side. Yes, this is the area we are going. Okay. What the tomb of William Poor should be here. Okay, and uh Well Well this is Forward, right, or left. Hmm. I'm gonna start with the right side. Can't go there. I can go there and over there. Is that a sausage? This... This is deformed, but this must be the symbol with the ring which Watchman mentioned. So could this be a poor script? Really? Can I enter? This should be William Poe's tomb. Tomb. These statues displays too. Honestly. So it was the right side. Uh, before we continue, I'm going to... I'm gonna check the rest of the areas, so we can't go there. Which we already know. We can go there. And nothing. Because uh, although the tomb is that way... I want to check if there might be some things or something we might need on in the tube at the tomb on the tube. <laughs> yeah. In the tube. Okay. We can go right and left, but not forward. Let's go left first. That's the second time we see that symbol. I don't know if that's that has any... What is that? A poisonous smoke is dispersing from below that tomb. That's good to know. So we are not going there then. And what do we have here? 
more tubes, obviously. There's no poisonous smoke over there, so that's good at least. So, well, there you have it. What a waste of time. <laughs> In we go, and... Yeah, I'm gonna make a save. I don't... Mostly because I hope that the game won't crash. It did it earlier after that hasn't done it but you never know these old games who knows so I guess we're moving on those statues looks quite alive actually especially the eyes anyways is there a pressure plate now, right in front of us, that seems like one. Okay. What do I do with this? Okay, I can't. Do I have anything in with uh, with me? Oh, I do. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. What do I do with this? Does this help? Come on. I balance some kind of twirly thing. So we have two sons. I is this the same thing? Can I see this closer? Okay, we got like duality that would go with this, I'm guessing. Because at least these are... These are similar with this. And I'm guessing this has to be something to do with the puzzle we have. Because the marks are similar. So there's only one man and some... It might be this. So let's see. So if that's true, let's work with the hypothesis, hypothesis that uh, these are the markings we need in the middle. So I would be on the right side. Uh, oh. This could be... Well, I'm s guessing that this symbol is for that. And that symbol for that. The eye is... Well, it's pretty obvious. So, I... Double dudes and one dude. And then the sons.
I'm gonna try that. So let's go. And the suns. First I will try... Or, I don't know if those are suns. Can I take it? Yes, sir. Yes. So I'm gonna try with this. If it doesn't work, I will change these two first. If that doesn't work, I have to see about it. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, now I have no idea. Or is the markings of the paper in... No, 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 no. I have no idea. I didn't realize we are actually changing these to you. I really had no idea about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. I... What does it... The door is locked. Okay, so we have locked Tom do door. We gotta. Can I have um any guides? Um, what do we have here? Oh, so maybe one of the Mister Kevin escape. Excuse me. Um, okay. I really don't know any. The door below the tomb of William Burr is locked. Can I use this and this? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Do I have anything else with me? Mark map. Can I get a hint? No. Well, I'm certain that the paper plays some part with this. But I have no idea how to set those discs. Um, I'm guessing it's... Well, I, I really don't know where it's connected. Okay. I think I will have to check the walkthrough for this because my mind doesn't really
because I first thought that the paper would mean these, so that would make a little sense. But apparently the paper is marking these little symbols. So I have really no idea, at least now, the way I have to set these. So okay, uh, I'm gonna check the walkthrough. I have to space me, but I have to do it. Because honestly, I have no idea what am I supposed to do with these. So be right back. Okay, and back. And uh, apparently I was somewhat correct on some things. But let's go through this. The opening panel reveals puzzle you have to solve. Yes, obviously. Uh, the puzzle is based on the process of soul metamorphosis you have read about in various documents. According to the burnt book in Fields Home, it starts and ends with the sun. These are actually... I managed to put these on the correct order. It's definitely this sun on the left side and this sun on the right side. Uh, that was pure luck. And... Um, uh, this requires you having paid attention to research found regarding soul metamorphosis to solve. Yeah, this is the problem. Yeah, I do remember the soul metamorphosis, but I can't remember the details and I didn't connect with this. Because, again, it's been a while, a few days when I last played this and uh, I can't remember that much. The five discs you took from the palanguin represent each step. Yes, they are the steps of the soul metamorphosis. Uh, the clue to what images should be on the three small discs was found on the back side of the statue in the cellar below Ivar's cabin. Uh, think of them as a triangle. And uh, yes, so it's for these. You can change the pictures in the small disk by rotating the five larger disks. Yes, we already know that. The solution to the placement uh, of the five disks, the sun, human body, eye, two human bodies, and half-eclipsed sun, and the solution to the three small disks, uh, spiral, eye, and scale. So, these we got also correct. The funny thing is, my backwards uh, thinking put this on the right place. The one man should be here. So that was correct. My only mistake is I need to switch these. So although although I wasn't doing the correct thing, I was almost doing the correct thing. And uh, now Let's work with that. So the scale is the last one and and I heard a click. I should check the door. And achievement unlocked. Line them up. So with that piece of paper I almost almost had the correct idea. And by sheer luck, I almost got it correctly. <clears throat> but it, but not. Alas, it didn't work. So, yeah, maybe if you remember that. Of course, I read the soul metaphor, but it's been a while since there was a mention of it, and um, I don't think you can. Do you have it in here? Magical description. Oh, my nose is dry. Tool. Uh, Mad prisoner medicine analysis. Basically, I don't know if I'm missing something, but I don't think there's anything about soul metamorphosis in these notes, which would at least give you a hint if need needs be. Anyways, let's move on. Okay. 
I think I hear a strange distant call. But anyway. Anyway. More candles. Uh, moving forward. Can I enter left? I can. So... Katie Corey. Nothing to interact. A strange smoke is flowing in from the cracks in the wall. I think the other side of the wall is hollow. M. Renshu. Uh, the Cornell con maybe well we might as well the Cornelli right Conrad D and what else name we can't read. Right, more that green gas. And it's locked. I hear some distant voices. It's that howling. Could be, could be. So I'm guessing we are coming... No, it's locked. There's a pickaxe. Can I take that? No. At least not for now. I'm guessing that door is locked. So let's go towards here. Yeah, I hear noises. Abdul Al Aziz. Uh, I think that is the writer of the Necronomicon, if I remember correctly, or something like that in Lovecraft's uh, Lovecraft's tales. So, what is that? The Kelso. Okay. Anything else? There's some rope. Again, name that has been smudged. And a rope. So... Oh, we... Can enter towards there, so we are not yet. Can I exit from here? No. The lock is broken. I can't open it. What about? So is that? I'm guessing. I just heard the same sound. It is coming from beyond that door. Oh, beyond that door. Fine. So this should be... Yeah, it's locked. And this should be locked also. I'm guessing that's where we need to go. So before we do that, we know the right side is locked. But I didn't check this side because it seemed like there wasn't uh, chains there. Oh, the lock is broken. I can't open it. I hear some distant voices. Is that howling? Okay. So, I should have tested that all earlier. Earlier. I can't even talk anymore. So, what do we do? We go forward. More. Crocodile statues or alligators, who knows. No, they didn't eat me. And forward go. Oh, 
Okay. Why can I check this? Uh, and no, nothing. Oh, that symbol looks familiar. Uh, oh, could this mark the old cemetery? Okay, so, so the old cemetery is marked as that. I remember that seemed familiar, but apparently we can't interact with it. At least from here. Oh, the symbol of this place. Okay. Anything else? No. What about here? No. Well, I'm guessing we are walking forward. Right. Can I go on the side? Can I? Oh. Okay. The same statues as the ones in the underground galleries of Mr. Brownbell's mansion and the ones that were described by Mr. Field in his strange notes. The same statues as the one underground galleries of Mr. Brownbell. Okay. Yeah, we know. And the notes. I'm guessing the. Yeah, same. Same, same. So nothing else. And a deep dark well. Now yes, I'm calling my ne from from the darkness. Is that so? A deep dark well. Oh yeah, someone calling my name from the darkness. So maybe we don't go there? Just at all. Um Was oh the rope? Do we use that? We don't have any pipes here. Uh, where do I use the rope? No. Do I? Can I use it on that? Do I need to go here? Yes, I'm guessing we have to go down to well. Can I? Okay. Um, can I leave? Yes, I can leave, but I. Okay, I'm gonna make a save, but uh, I'm almost certain we have to go to the well. But how? How? We need to use the rope. That, but it can't use it here. Okay, I'm gonna just go and go through everything I can. What about this? No. Wait, wait. Really? <laughs> okay, okay. So we use it on the gate. Fine, let's go down. Will you go down? Well, if we're perfectly honest, I would just leave. But I think we have to go down.
this place. I have seen this place in one of my nightmares, but wasn't the well that I fell down in Clarksfield's house. Is this real? Am I a nightmare in a nightmare again? Or haven't I ever woken up from one? Oh god, am I mad? We all go crazy sometimes. I'm not in control. That voice. Is it still co it's still calling me? Okay, now I'm in control. I can I'm gonna put the sound a little down. Actually, we could put uh, music totally off. I don't know if it's helped in the ambient volume, but anyways. So, that is quite interesting question. Are we still asleep? Or are we in the... Asylum? Or, or sanitarium or whatever? Or, or is this real? Well, we probably find out. I can't go over there or there. And we came to this, so this is the only way I can go. Let's see. I can't open it, it's stuck. Fine. Yeah, it's still stuck. No, 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 stop clicking it. It's stuck. <laughs> Let's go up. Uh, can go through the stairs apparently. I wasn't. I still hear voices calling me. Yes, I am mad. Or what else could I be? What else could you be? You? Right. If this is not a nightmare, then I am definitely mad. Well, if any of the Lovegrath tales are to go by, I would say that's a fair assumption for the protagonist. Most of the time, either the protagonist or he, the person or persons he is studying are going mad. But if I am mad, it is mercy. Maybe the, may the God pity the man who is in this in his callousness can remain sane in somewhere. Yeah. So forward we go. We can't interact with these. Probably it's the same as in the dream. So it was quite last one. I'm thinking, maybe. Forward we go then. Yeah, last one. Here we are. Interesting to see what we will find here. Maybe we find ourselves. Uh, maybe we are staring ourselves when we open this. Well, there's no time, better time than today, so let's open it. Oh. This was the coffin I opened. Same bones. Okay. Oh, there's a disc. This wasn't here in my nightmare. Oh, your father's ring had the same symbols, didn't it? My family symbol. Lorraine. his name. No. This can't be. This is not happening. Me. I can't be their kin. I reject this. The voice. It's calling me. From beyond here. I don't want to turn around. Actually, what I'm going to... What am I supposed to do? 
Oh, I can go over there. Okay, let's go. I knew thou wouldst come. Just as was foretold. You? Who are you? What do you want from me? I am thine. Thou art mine. You know very well what I want is thee. No. No, no. This is not real. Oh, I must be dreaming again. Victim. Kariga. Ego. Voco. Vos. That Ego Vogel was a uh, part of I Summon You, or something like that. When I told them what I did in that ancient crypt, they refused to believe me. They said that there was no such crypt, nor could there have been anyone buried there by the name of Lorraid. But I have seen all these things, so doesn't that make me mad? Now, I cannot see through the darkness that is within me. It fills me more and more, day after day, and now I feel as though I am drowning in a dark, endless sea. Hence, I cannot tell exactly what has happened. The only thing I fear is that I will lose myself, the person that I am today. Over time, perhaps I will just disappear into the fathomless dark depths of madness, a thought that seems almost merciful to me now. Or maybe I'll continue to struggle and call for help until I am no more. I have made up my mind. I will stay here until the coming eclipse is over. I must do this at all costs, even if I have imagined it all. Oh God, please grant me merciful madness if I have not. Okay, I hope this didn't crash. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. <laughs> okay, in Pursuit of Lot and Alder, I didn't remember the ending. This is definitely... Lovecraftian tale. So we are a little out there if this is if something happened, Lorraine, or not. Uh, or were we playing actually a lot older? Um, I'm the darkness within two apparently and definitely continues with this story. And uh, I, I hope it will give the final answers i can't remember i could actually check because i think there was some talks way back when that uh for darkness within three but i don't know if it's ever coming okay let's see what the darkness within two says uh darkness within two the dark lineage is a 2010 First person adventure horror, horror thriller video game. Yes, okay. Mm. As a sequel to 
Darkness Within in Pursuit of Loath and Older, the game is part of the series of adventure games, in but yes, but... Um... Okay, yeah, so basically now her discovers that he's her own her, yeah, so it's, um... It's continuation uh, for the first one. That game I have never played before, and um, it's con uh, uh, Darkness Within's two controls are more like the first-person shooter, so it's not uh, point-and-click or mist like like the first one. So it will be interesting to see how it works out, and um, I do own it, so I will continue to play that. I might take a little excursion because I just bought Max Payne one, two, and three. As Max Payne is uh, what twenty years old right now, so I decided to buy them. And uh, I might play the first one, but I, uh, no guarantees, have to see. But yes, we are going to play Darkness Within 2, because I definitely want to know how the story goes. A lot no noder. It's interesting, it's noder. Is it actually noder? Or is that a typo? No, it's in the Wikipedia, it's a lot no der. But in those texts, it's no der. Interesting. Uh, we never know if he saw the... Uh, yeah, of course, the interesting part is that... Uh, apparently, we were inside the asylum and we were talking what had happened to us. But as we are not the Lord, okay. Let's see what happens after the end credits. A little bit disturbing background. Do we get more? Hmm. Oh, I have the music off, so probably there should be a music. I don't know. Total time, uh, 11 hours, 59 minutes. Oh, I took my sweet time there. Documents found, 37 of 30. Oh, that's nice. So I found all the documents. Clues found, 29 of 30. I missed two clues. <laughs> and let's not talk about the hidden clues. So I missed 16 hidden clues. Two story secrets missed and two Easter eggs missed. Right, and I have seen that some, uh, because I have seen the game result table, a screenshot about it, and I have seen this uh, has been played in three hours and something like that. I think it also plays a part with the final score. Overall, yeah, I took my sweet time with it, and uh, a few of the puzzles were a little bit too vague. For my taste, overall, I would say the puzzles were okay. But again, with the puzzle games, you have... Usually there are a few puzzles that are way out there. And uh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. The, the disc one, I don't know if that was unfair. I wouldn't say that it's unfair now that I know what the, was the idea behind the discs. And, and to be honest, with a pure chance, I was quite close to getting that true with my <laughs> false ideas, uh, false thoughts, which is quite weird. But yeah, I do enjoy that there's no really hand ha holding, but it, there could have been a little hint about the soul metamorphosis. It's easier to remember if you have just played it. And let's say you are playing it very fast and you remember you have read it. Uh, you 
probably you can click it. Uh, get that uh, uh, combine that then uh, knowledge of the text uh, with the puzzle. But again, for me, it's been a little bit. Uh, I can't remember when I started to play this. I can't remember when I last re re read about those so metamorphosis and. Um, Although I remember the soul metamorphosis and the uh, and the drugs, I totally forgot most of the things about it. So uh, maybe with the time I would have gone if I hadn't used the walkthrough, probably had to walk around and try to see if I can find anything connecting that, and that would be a well. I don't know. That would have taken me quite a while. So overall, I'd say it was unfair. It was just uh, it depends if you make the connection with the soul metamorphosis and uh, and the discs, um, which is more likely if you're playing faster and uh, you have the story fresh in your mind. But overall, most of the puzzles were okay. Some were harder, some were other. The, uh, the problem I had is sometimes I had to up my in-game gamma. It's dark in the replay. Uh, I have uh, brightened a little bit, but if you change the in-game gamma, uh, the high is actually <laughs> burning your eyes almost. But at sometimes you really have to use it so you can at least see something. Uh, I have, uh, it was the Discworld Noir I played in on PlayStation 1. Uh, one game I would really want to play again, if I can get it anywhere. I do have it on the PlayStation 1. But not on the PC, I would like to have it on PC. There was one puzzle in that game uh, where I got stuck. I had no idea what to do until I read the game guide. I was stuck in... I can't remember for ages, and uh, finally caved in and read the uh, walkthrough and see how to go from there. Uh, <laughs> basically, the problem was that uh, I couldn't see the part where I was supposed to interact because it was a little small area in the darkest of the dark spot, and I wasn't the only one who had the problem. <laughs> so this had uh, similar problems. But um, I'm overall I enjoyed this game. The underlining is interesting idea, interesting concept. The problem is if you want to be certain, you use the underlining which says you have zero to three clues found, and then you are missing the hidden clues. And uh, I tried as you. <laughs> saw in my gameplay, I tried to find the hidden clues and apparently still missed like 16. Um, I don't know how important that is, uh, or story secrets. Story secrets probably... Yeah, I'm guessing one is the... who is the person inside the dungeon, maybe. So that might be one, because we really don't know. I'm. It might be the owner of the mansion, maybe. Although there was a note that said that they had to go to all ways, so I thought they were they killed him. So if they killed the brown, what was the mansion's owner? If they killed him, then who was in the dungeon? But if they didn't kill him. He might be the guy in the dungeons. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. And uh, I definitely will play the Darkness Within 2. Because I want to see the story of that. Uh, and it's been, These both games have been in my Steam library for ages. And now finally I played this through. Uh, like I said, I played this first time around 2007. This wasn't in the Steam at the time. Uh, this game, uh, Steam in 2009, and it's uh, so called Director's Cut. That there's a little graphical enhancement you can get. Uh, nothing, 
really that interesting. I think it's the let's see, let's go. Uh, would, will you save your yes? Let's save the game results. I think the noise effect. Um, what else do we have? Oh, uh, chromatic aberration. Some of these are which were added in the Steam version. And I think the, well, I don't really enjoy the chromatic aberration, but it will give you, if somebody likes it, uh, that's okay. It's something I usually turn off. So like noise effect, can't remember if it was on the first time. It can work, but yeah, I think I played this, I tried to, yeah, I recorded this. I think I already mentioned it, but last time I tried to record games when I recorded still life a little bit Alan Wake, and I think I recorded this game also only to the first office. And uh, after that, my old H HDD broke, and every recording went over there. And after that, that I think it was two thousand. 14, 15 around when I try to record and see if I would uh, start my YouTube channel. Never happened. That happened only 2020 September. I finally launched my YouTube channel. So six years, five years later. So finally, I played this game. It's been interesting to play. Uh, it's funny, I remember the first part, I remember that uh, nightmare character sitting over your chest while you're watching it through the crack of the door, but the ending is something I had no <laughs> recollection at all. And again, like I said, uh, Darkness Within 2 will be interesting. It's Hopefully it tells the whole story. I think the uh, game company has uh, made another game also. I could actually check it. Let's go. Where are you, Steve? Come on. Yeah, I'm blabbing about, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Conarium is uh, there. Third game, I guess. Oh, there are four items. Let's see the bundle info. Ah, okay. Darkness with the one and two, and Conarium and Transient. I have no idea about those games. But I'm just checking what. The Steam says about uh, Darkness Within number two. Darkness Within the Dark, the Dark Lineage Director Scott. It is was specially created for Steam with many extra features not available in previous versions. Graphical refreshes for most environments, a brand new location begging to explore. Begging to be explored. Oh, it's a uh, post-screen chromatic aberration effect and color gradi gradation effect create the more cinematic look for drastically improve the overall visual. I think that's the same as in the, in this game. That also more balanced gameplay with new additional puzzles and enchant enhancement enchantment. Um, does it say? Victorian mansion, depressing town. Uh, players once again take the role of police detective Howard Lorraine, a man tormented by paranormal happenings around him. In the first volume, in pursuit of Loth and Older, now Howard discovers that his own terrible past has some connection to the madness that is about to swallow him yet again. So I hope that is a, a full story of uh, Howard Lorraine. But uh, yeah, I might take a little break i might try a max pain in the meantime and uh, but we will see we will see it depends if i can get it work and whatnot 
but I hope you enjoyed with the Darkness Within, and de there will be definitely more Darkness Within. But uh, I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.